Hey Scorpio, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. This is your month of October reading because you guys, because of the hurricane, you guys did not get a monthly reading last month. I tried to get to everybody, but I just couldn't get to everybody before I had to, um, you know, batten down the hatches and get ready for a hurricane and, you know, all that stuff. It's a lot of work when a hurricane's coming and then it's a lot of work when it leaves. So I apologize. Anyway, for Scorpio, spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. I promise you guys your readings up first and here they are. Scorpio reading the main female. This could be you or someone around you. Scorpio reading for the whole month of October. This could resonate right now or later on down the line. Anything could come out right to the last second of this reading, Scorpio. And I mean the last second. If you can linger for a second or two when this video is done, sometimes special messages come out after I click off that I will come back on and tell you guys. I don't know why it happens that way, but it does. All right, let's do it. Scorpio reading the moon. So we have the main female and she is the woman holding the rose and we have the moon. So there could be emotions in this. Can we get a couple more um, cards here? But the woman holding the rose is also known as the queen of cups. So this most likely is your energy or you could be this wealthy man that just came out. Can we get one more? Uh, I will say that the um, toil and labor card was at the bottom a second ago. So this could be a boss or anyone really, but I saw it down there. Courthouse and the journey is at the bottom. All right, so the journey is a number 10 card. So this is like achieving something, reaching your goal, the end of a cycle, something like this. So you could be dealing with um, a wealthy man, who you might work for or do business with, or you might even have a court situation going on between you and a, a man. You could be, for a couple of you, um, in court and possibly ending something with a man in court. Or you could be the man ending something with a woman in court. I mean, there's something here. It doesn't have to be. You know, this also could be spiritual court and because it came out with the journey card. So this is part of your spiritual journey to be like, this is... Um, the way it's supposed to be, whatever's going on between this man and this woman. So let's find out. Now, it doesn't have to be an ending, but I do see that for a couple of you, it could be. For others of you, you're just on some kind of a journey that involves another person. Uh, this feels very, um, when I see these two together, feels like a spiritual journey. Let's find out. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, what do we need to know here? This is the Scorpio monthly reading for the whole month of October, but anyone could resonate with this reading. If you are guided here for whatever reason you've been guided here, this could be your reading. What do we need to know? What are the messages? Scorpio reading for the whole month of October could resonate now or later. We're going to get one more shuffle and we're going to go with it. Okay. What do we need to know the most about this reading? Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior. What else do we need to know? Okay, the Four of um, the Four of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, the Wheel, yes. And on the Wheel of Fortune, always I notice that the Empress is on this, which is really nice. Uh, so something coming full. Oh, look at that! The Emperor's reversed, right with the Empress. Now there is one other reading. Why am I putting these together? Okay. Uh, there's one other reading where the emperor and empress came out right next to each other, right? Like that. I think they were here and here or here and here. So if you want to watch the other readings, you might, because this is very rare that they come out together like this. Scorpio reading. Now, so you end up with the Knight of Wands smack dab in the middle of this reading. This could be your very own energy, especially if you are a Scorpio Sagittarius Cusper. Yeah, the star, the six of pentacles reversed. Something, I, something is going on between you and a partner. I feel like some of you are going through a divorce. I do. I feel like a, a couple of you are going to be going through a divorce. It's the end of a cycle. Look at this. Ten of wands getting ready to go down a new path with the uh, two of wands here. Okay, so two of wands is reversed, ten of wands is in the upright. You're getting ready to get on a new path because you finished a cycle. Now, could this be that you finished a cycle with a person? Yeah, it's possible. 
um, because you have nine of wands, ten of wands, the journey card, the wheel of fortune. These are all ends of, you know, a diff so when I see nine of wands and ten of wands, this has been strife. You know, you really had a difficult cycle and now it is finally. And the thing I love about this is right with your wheel is your four of pentacles, which I absolutely, this, this is my favorite deck of tarot. I should have said this. This is the Celtic universal tarot. This is a big hybrid deck of Gilded Revelry, Lenormand and Kipper deck that I like to blend together. And we're going to be using a Greenwich tarot, but the, look at this card. And I love this deck because it's very, very non-traditional, which is my favorite way to go. Um, we have a path that's opened up back here and see how this person's blindfolded to the beauty right in front of them. It's a path. So the new journey, the new path is going to be really beautiful. This person hasn't recognized that yet because they've been in this very, um, you know, really doing the work with the, the wands here. They've been, you know, trying to get through a cycle with the strength in reverse as well, right? So there's some, and we have the six of pentacles in reverse. So this was a cycle that's been something you could have been fighting for money from someone because we have the wealthy man courthouse and the six of pentacles reverse. We have the emperor reverse. You could have been fighting for your money, fighting for your rights, fighting for something that was owed to you or something you deserve. And you could have been, like I said, for some of you ending a relationship. But what I see here is someone who hasn't seen that pathway yet is about to see it. And when they go into it, when, when you realize when this wheel turns and this cycle finally is over, that's where the beauty lies down the new path. Because this is reverse, which tells me this is all happening here and now. Really nice. I don't know which way that was, but it um, doesn't really matter. It, together, these two cards really say, you know, wheels turning, new path is opening, wounded warrior, finally, nine and ten done. This old cycle, gone, journey, wheel of fortune. These are all ends of cycles. Okay, so whatever this is that you've been dealing with, with this man or this woman, I don't know which one you are. I'm going to say that you most likely are the woman dealing with this wealthy man because somebody owes you money, but it could be the opposite, right? But there's something going on here. And also, you know, this emperor is reversed here. Um, strength is reversed here. Something's going on with this person here. Uh, we also have the seven of cups and it's in the reverse. So I do feel as though there is something getting cleared up here. Something you couldn't see before. See how this person's blindfolded and walking on their tiptoes, really walking on eggshells, never knowing what's coming at them, not noticing with this blindfold, the beautiful path ahead of them. This blindfold's falling off and this clarity is coming in and this is wish fulfillment. You know, even if you haven't recognized this yet, when this new path is going to be wish fulfillment for somebody. Let's see if we can find out what's going on with this guy here. What do we need to know? What are the messages? The Scorpio reading for anyone who's guided. Scorpio reading for anyone who's guided. Scorpio reading. All right. Let's take a look at the Knight of Wands. Smack dab in the middle of this reading. What is the Knight of Wands doing here? This is forward motion. This sometimes is action being taken or a message is coming in for me. What do we need to know? Knight of Wands, just one or two. Scorpio reading. Here it is seven of swords reversed all right so whatever this person was doing you're seeing it uh some kind of truth could be coming out this clarity could be information let me look at this emperor reverse whoever this somebody was definitely up to something there was something being concealed here tell me about the emperor reversed emperor reversed what do we need to know The page of wands reverse somebody wasn't speaking up listen if somebody was concealing something it could have been um let me look at the strength card real quick tell me about the strength card in reverse what about the strength card in reverse
Yeah, the star reversed. Look at that. Okay, star is reversed on top of strength. And then at the bottom is that six of pentacles again in the reverse. You know if they lied about money or if they lied that they... I don't know how to how do I word this they either lied about money or you're you know fighting to get your money from this person or they lied about having money and it could be because of protection so I want to look at a little deeper at this tell me about the six of pentacles in the reverse why is the six of pentacles in the reverse with the seven of cups reversed I want to know more about this Four of Swords reverse, Ten of Wands reverse. No more struggle, no more needing to heal over the. Something was going on. I feel like they've had to fight for something, or it's like they, um, it's like they didn't say something. It really keeps coming back to me to be someone who didn't say something because of protection, because they, um, I don't know if, I almost want to say that this person has to be careful what they tell people. I really feel this person is wealthy and they have protected themselves because of um, gold diggers, you know, or whatever, or they just can't, you know, maybe they've been taken advantage of in the past. I mean, they're showing up, you know, uh, the wounded warrior up here, which I'm gonna look at right now. Tell me about the nine of wands up top, nine of wands, whether this is you or them, you know, nine of wands. Scorpio reading. Ten of Pentacles. Absolutely. I'm telling you, I'm going to tell you right now. Somebody kept someone in the dark, Eight of Swords, about their financial status until they get to know them. I This is what I see. I see, I cannot tell somebody. I got to keep them in the dark. Blindfolded, blindfolded, blindfolded. Look at all the blindfolds. And it's about divine timing, the Sid. And it's about, um, you know, Archangel Michael here. It's about balance. It's about, uh, honest to God, I think somebody's wealthy and couldn't say anything because people take advantage of them if they know. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles reversed with the Wheel of Fortune. Beautiful energy. Tell me about this particular, very non-traditional Four of Pentacles here reversed with the Wheel of Fortune. The high priestess reversed beautiful so really this feels to me like clarity is going to come in information is going to come in that is going to help turn this wheel and to open up this new pathway let's look at the star tell me about the star over here Now, if this isn't, I really, I highly believe this is for 90% of you, the story I just said. But if this is not that, it's really just that somebody's been holding back how they feel about someone. And that's something that needs to be exposed here. When that is recognized or brought forward, there's a lot of good here. And somebody else had a very similar message. I wish I could remember what sign it was. Remember, I haven't done that many signs yet because I realized that I made a promise to Scorpio and Leo and I jumped right back over to them in the middle of me doing the monthly. So I'm trying to remember who it was. I don't remember. Tell me about the star here. Yeah, absolutely. This is cornucopia. This is wish fulfillment. This is uh, everything, really. This is uh, harvest, which is the judgment card. But in this deck, what they show is somebody who has everything. And look at the star, you know. This is everything everybody would want. I mean, anybody would want. It is, and look at the bottom of the deck. Justice and Nine of Cups, right there. Both of them sitting at the bottom of this deck. Um, I feel like this is definitely wish fulfillment. I feel somebody's been fearful of speaking or someone has been keeping something secret. I don't know if it's their feelings or finances. I feel like somebody just can't tell people they have money because then people take advantage of them. 
but there there's something here and she is the woman holding the rose so he can trust her there's something here about this i you guys have to let me know what this is and like i said there is another reading similar to this but it didn't have to do i don't think it was a wealthy man i don't remember that coming up in the reading but it did come out um about an emperor who needed to tell somebody how they felt or tell somebody something I wish I could remember who it was, guys. Please do check out the other readings. You'll know it because the emperor was sideways right here. So this card was the emperor sideways. And that's how you'll know if you want to breeze through the other readings and see which one it was. But I think it relates to you guys. I don't remember what zodiac sign it was, though. Apologies. All right, angels, what do we need to know? And don't worry what zodiac sign it was, really. Just watch it. It could have a message for you. It doesn't matter. We all have every zodiac sign in our chart somewhere. Balance, absolutely. And that's what I see coming through is this wish fulfillment, this balance coming in. It could be a court matter for some of you where something's coming through for someone who, um, you know, for a couple of you, but I really am not feeling that the most here. What I'm feeling is this is like, um, like, like I said, spiritual court. It's like two people being brought together that are supposed to be brought together. Remember, we had temperance down here as well, saying this is coming together in divine timing. This is coming together in the way it's supposed to come together in a very balanced manner. Um, support, compassion, again, the woman holding the rose, right? This is not somebody who would take advantage of anybody. Uh, education. This is really, I really do feel a lot of this had to do with getting to know someone before I expose who I am, what I am, what I do. This person could have a very important job. This person could be well off. This person could be an important person in society or in their culture. I don't know. You guys will have to let me know. Good luck with this. Beautiful reading. Uh, I feel like definitely someone hasn't spoken something or said something because of, I really feel that it was a protection thing. And I really feel because it's their family status or their financial status that they had to keep this quiet. Good luck with it, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Have a beautiful month. And don't forget to hit that like for me. I appreciate you guys. Guys, I just wanted to clear something up real fast because I might have confused you. There's two different readings I'm talking about. I believe there was a reading with the emperor and empress here or here, like together. Oh, I just noticed that they both came out together, just like in this reading. And I think they were both reversed. So, I mean, I'm just... I always try to guide you in the direction of readings that might mean something to you. I believe it was a monthly reading. I don't remember what sign it was. And the same thing with the one where the emperor was here sideways. I really feel like that felt like this. Uh, it was connected to this reading. Anyway, good luck, guys. I just wanted to make that clear that I was talking about two different readings when I talked about the emperor and empress together and the emperor as a challenge over here. He was in a challenge position on his side, but it was not. Um, it wasn't a negative reading, though. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.